Hello there, and welcome to the building blocks of online small business marketing. I'm Richard Coffers, and today we are going to be covering, in this series, getting someone else to do it. We're going to be talking about hiring outsourced freelance contractors to get some of the technical work for you. Now, there's lots of places you can do this. These are some of the places I go to, along with our team inside of Yagi Labs at jimyagi.com is where I get a lot of the marketing knowledge inside there. But today we're going to be covering website development because this is a recent project I posted. I want to show you how I went about doing this project and posting it up there. Uh, another video, I talked about building this graphic here for this video. So you can check that out. I'll leave the link later on. But what I did was I needed to get this work over here, this anti-spam policy and several other legal documents for my webpage into a nice format. I needed, I wanted this to actually come out and look good so when somebody landed on the legal page or somebody's looking at the legal page, I want them to be able to say, hey, this is nice. And by that, it's just some style. I'm going to have a video on here. I'm going to have opt-in, email opt-in option for them. Okay, uh, it's very important to have legal pages. That's a whole other topic. But if you ever read somebody's legal pages on their website, if you ever bother to, and I recommend you do, anytime you're going to purchase something from somebody, or you're just checking them out, look at them. Look, most of the time, they're ugly and they're boring. So it's a way to stand out. It's a way to uh, you know stand out from the crowd, really, is to just make this page pop, which is something that not many people do. So I need some CSS code done, and I figured get on here and do a little out little outsourcing so I posted a job I use Odesk I went to Odesk and I just posted a simple job where I've already have like 12 to 15 people you know submitting their bids and the job I actually you know the main the main nuts and bolts here is you submit a job and you're looking for criteria but you kinda have to know what you're getting and you only know what you're getting by knowing what the real, you know what's what's involved in a project. I may not be a web developer myself, but I know enough terminology and I know enough of small code to understand what goes into web development and you know kind of finding someone who knows that as well and picking that person for the project. As you see here, I got several applicants to choose from and based on my criteria, now I have to go through here and hire this person. So I'm, I'm hiring somebody part-time to develop this code for me. One of the things that I that stood out to me the most was this comment out of all these people was, if all employers were given the same detailed, clear instructions as you did in your screencast, all freelancers would be very happy. Now, that's a broad statement. But what I did was when I posted my job, let's see if I can pull this up for you here. I made a screencast just like this one detailing visually and auditorially what I wanted to be done in the job and I also wrote out instructions and that's a key detail the more instructions you can give somebody for your work the less you actually have to go back and fix something right so the idea there is there's several things I like to do now this description isn't as detailed as my screencast is in the video but I posted this yesterday on here and just like any other site you can post you know what you're looking for your payment range the area you want to work with somebody I picked you know contractors in North America you know somebody local is always better than somebody far away to me sometimes sometimes not but I like to be able to communicate with them uh, where it's easier for all of us So Odesk, this is just one. I use Script Lance. I use Guru. Like I said, Yagi Labs is definitely a good place for marketing. So in a day, I've already got you know 25 contractors looking at this thing, 24 or whatever. And I posted the video up here, and I went through some steps that I walked. When you're hiring somebody, 
you know, you just have to find somebody you connect with. You can talk back and forth through here, through their chat and using, using their, the, the mediation places, terms of service, because, you know, these guys are now escrow. You're going to be paying them through there or whatever, whatever you use. So, what's the point? Okay, let's sum it up. The point is when you're going to submit contracting work, give a detailed job description, give your time frame, and know your budget. The more you know about the project that you want, the easier it is, one, for you to get it done and to find somebody who's qualified to do it for you in the amount of time that you want to do it for. You don't want to be paying for somebody's education here. People on these websites here that hire freelance work should have correct skills listed. That's If they put the wrong skills and they get a job, you know, you're going to know right away. So that's some of the aesthetics. That's it's what's really in there. You got to just you're you're the boss now. I mean, you're playing boss man. And you know what? Putting your profile on here too for finding other work is great too. But that's a that's another video. Good. Job, let's sum it up. Good. Let's sum it up. Good job description. Details. Screencast if you can do it is you know I found those to be the absolute best. You know, skills that you're looking for. I'm looking for CSS and HTML. Money, where you want it, and how you want it done. The more detail, the better. Plain and simple. All right. So I hope this helped you out a little bit. Read the content. Leave your comments. Leave your questions. You know, I'm open to assist you with questions that I can, if not find answers to. I'm Richard Coffers. You have a great day.